chemistry, theater, geography, physics class, poetry, Shakespeare, forensics, learning about learning, psychology, a Spanish class, genetics, acting class, math class, Chinese, writing, bill of rights, ancient civilizations, musical true, architecture. That was in our first year of campers in 1982. Now it's 25 years and it's really grown, really touched a lot of kids' lives. When you're here with a lot of other interesting kids and they're all interested, you almost feel like you can be yourself for the first time. So, you know, what I see these kids doing, and they may be from different states, but they, they get to know each other and they connect. I still remember a lot of the campers when I was 12. I still, some I, I still keep in touch with. All of these subject matters still teach you at school, but we don't really have an opportunity to actually delve into the depths of the subject matter. You get to learn with people that, um, share the same interests as you. You learn that you don't have to act like you're not smart because these people don't care if you're nerdy or if you're geeky or if you have something wrong with you or anything. You just get to be yourself no matter what. We kind of connect because we think similar and we get to know each other really well. At my school there are a lot of different people but here there are more people that are like me. You're with students that want to learn just as much as you do and it's, it makes the experience so much better because you come and there's people not acting up in the class and you get to learn as much as possible. It seems like at school I'm different than everyone else and here it seems like you're part of a larger group. It's just really great to see, you know, all different kinds of people. It's very diverse. I came back because the environment is just wonderful. There's so many cool people here and the classes are so interesting. They're all like really good teachers. You can tell that they really care about what they're teaching and the kids that they're teaching too. There's a lot of hands-on things and since the classes are small, we get to interact with each other more and the teacher. It's a really relaxed environment. Like you work at your own pace and you just tell them when you're ready for a test and you learn how to pace yourself and divide your time into learning what you need to know. Before I came to the NFB, I kind of just study for maybe half an hour to an hour for a test, but here it actually teaches you to give more time to your studies. Even if you're a straight-A student, it can teach you to get even higher. And the counselors are great. They strive to make your time the best it can be here. The support system here is amazing. We have so many traditions. I really like doing the optionals. Some people call it mandatory fun. There's like some sports stuff if you're sportive. There's some creative stuff for like art. And then there's something called Map Time USA, which I heard that was fun. The activities after we got through with classes like bowling, swimming, the talent show, a dance, a banquet. I think the most important thing that I'll take away from this experience is having a network of friends who support me in our intellectual pursuit and our education. The highlight of this summer has definitely been coming back and seeing my friends that I've made over the years. I actually had six people from my city come and I haven't spent more than about 15-20 minutes with them a day. Coming to Bambi has really opened me up and now I can share my ideas without being afraid of what others think about me. I've met actually kids from China in Indonesia. I've learned some of their customs, some of their traditions. We just talk over lunch and stuff. The people I've met here have all been gifted as well. So they're a lot more accepting of being smart or of being different <laughs> than the normal. I learned that I can learn new things as well as anyone else can. I've actually gained a lot of confidence. My first year, I was a timid, shy, hide in the corner with a book girl, and now, I'm one of the people dragging people out of their rooms <laughs> to get them to join in. I've learned that it's okay to be smart and that you don't have to dumb yourself down for people and that they're smart people who are also fun and entertaining as well. I've learned that I can be independent and live kind of on my own for two weeks without my parents. Learning how to be independent, like I have to do my own laundry. I mean, come on. It's being away from your parents and, you know, getting sort of that freedom, but also, you know, getting just to walk to class and feel like, oh, I'm, I'm a big kid now, so. <laughs> well, it helps you learn to um, break the ice with new people, to uh, get to know new people, and, and uh, you learn new ways to talk, start conversations, just social skills. I think it'll help me in college because I've gotten experiences with uh, college teachers and college level coursework and living in a dorm, I mean, because that can be a really tough experience going away from your home for the first time. I enjoyed getting away from home for a couple of weeks. I enjoyed learning new things in a different way. 
It's been six months after Vampy, thinking about it, and the next six months, just uh, looking forward to it. This is really something that I've looked forward to ever since the first year I went in sixth grade. It's a whole lot of fun, too. It's not just going to class hour after hour, feeling like you're not getting anything done. I plan on coming back next year because it's a lot of fun and I like the experience of meeting new people. I would come back for the people and the environment. It's different because you learn at the same time as that you're having fun. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. There's no main thing that's the highlight. It's just, it's all one big highlight. It's like the highlight of my summer, pretty much. It's definitely the most fun thing I'll ever do all summer.